is a cute bunny. Oh, he's a cute bunny. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, he's a cuddle bunny. Are you a cuddle bunny? Yeah. Yeah, you're a cuddle bunny. Oh. Oh, so cute. So cute. So cute. Oh. <laughs> Fans. Okay, it is, well, in the world I'm living in right now, it is very late at night. <laughs> Probably like nearing midnight. It has been a heck of a day, but we've got Errol in here. Ready for a changing video. Pandora, stop sniffing my toes, please. It tickles. Silly bunny rabbit. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this morning, my rabbit, Pandora, okay, so, little, little crusade moment here. Rabbits do not belong in cages, they are way too big for cages, they are very unhealthy when you put them in cages, don't put your rabbits in cages, they are free roaming animals, and yes, they can be trained to use the litter box. Pandora is fully litter box trained, and this morning... I found her blankie in her litter box. She had dragged her blanket into her litter box and just left it there. I was like, oh my god, are you serious? Like, why? It was a nice blanket, too. <laughs> Although, kind of dumb to buy nice blankets for your rabbit when they're probably just going to chew them or put them in their litter box. What size is this? Three. It's been a while since... She's had a new diaper on. Ah, it's stuck to me. I am stuck on a bandage because the bandage stuck on me. <laughs> I can't be the only one who saw those commercials when I was a kid. Come on now, get your big old button there. That's the back, that's why. Reminds me of one of my first babysitting jobs, and it was one of my first times ever doing diapers. This was way before the Reborn, so it was my first time doing, one of my first times doing diapers ever on any thing, living or adult. So, my first, one of my first babysitting gigs, one of my first time doing diapers, and it was this toddler boy, and, you know... The first half had went fine, got them all cleaned up, and I was, and I went to go put a new diaper on, and I kept mixing up the front and the back, I'm like, no, that's not right, first I put it on the right way, and I'm like, no, that doesn't look right for some reason, so I turned it around, and then I discovered that I had put it on backwards, so I put it back the other way, and I think I switched it, like, three to four different times, and I know this kid wasn't even two yet, but he was probably like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> Yikes, that hair. <laughs> show you the outfit I'm going to put on her. So we've got this Gerber birdie onesie. It's got mommy bird and a baby bird on a branch. And then I have this George, baby George brand sort of overall dress that I thought would go good with it. And 
thought I'd pair it up with these, like... <coughs> Bless me. Sorry. <laughs> these thick, like, knit leggings with the fake shoes on the bottom. Because I thought that that blue would kind of match up with the blue on the birds. For how long? You gotta put the arms in first, dum dum. <laughs> Anyways, the reason that I've started making a video so late today is because, first of all, I slept terribly last night, and things kept waking me up, and every time I just wanted to go and like slap whatever it was that was waking me up, whether it was human or otherwise. Surprisingly, the bunny didn't wake me up at all last night. And then, like, it was, like, probably 8 in the morning, which is normal time for some people to get up. It's not normal quarantine time to get up for me. I'm more of a night owl, so, you know, I stay up late, and then get up later, and it's like 8 o'clock, and my freaking loud neighbor, who apparently cannot talk normally and can only shout, like scream across the parking lot, even if she's talking to the person right in front of her, starts going off like an annoying rooster, and I'm like, oh my god. I've never wanted to go to the window and yell, SHUT UP, so badly. I mean, it wasn't obscenely early or anything, but just like, oh my god, you don't have to scream. Your voice is like nails on a chalkboard. Her thighs are so chunky. And we had to go out and get groceries and stuff for the pets. So that was a big whole ordeal with my mom and I today. We went out and got all the stuff we needed and then came back. I haven't, I still haven't looked into it too much, but why are you putting that over her head? It'd be so much easier to put it over her legs. <laughs> I was, what was I saying? Squirrel! Um, <laughs> anyways, yeah, talking about the, can't say it, the quarantine, what's causing the quarantine, apparently we're seeing less cases around here, and apparently they're supposed to be lessening restrictions soon, or they already have lessened some restrictions, not completely, and yet again, this is all word of mouth, so I actually have to go and look to see what the officials are saying before. You can't always rely on what you hear from other people. Especially in this neighborhood. Good God. If you listen to what people say in this neighborhood, we'd all be driving without licenses. We would think that possums are giant rats. And we would think that all bees do is make honey. Among other things. My point is, I live in a bad neighborhood. <laughs>
this arrow then. Turn your head this way. Okay. Brush. I want to trim her hair, but the thing is to find time to do it. Because I don't want it to be like a big, long project. I don't want her sitting out of commission for days. I want it to be something that I can sit down and do in one sitting, if not one or two nights. But I just don't have that time right now. Like, I know it's quarantine and all that, but I still do have things that I have to do. Fox's hair needs to be trimmed in some places, too. Not like, the way I say it, it makes it sound like their hair has been growing and now it's too long. No, it's just I've never, obviously it's not the case, they're dolls, but... The, I've never, when I rooted them, I didn't know as much about cutting hair as I do now. So, not that I'm an expert or anything, but I do know a little bit more now than I did when I first rooted these dolls. So, their hair is way too long in a lot of places, and that's one of the reasons that their hair is only so impossible. Look at that baby. Not talking to you, Dora. <laughs> I have no doubt that Pandora thinks whenever I use that voice I'm talking to her. Because a lot of the times I am. <laughs> okay, let's do this so we don't mess up her hair. Come on. There we go. And there she is. Oh. She's a really nice size. I like her size. She's 23 inches, which in these dolls, an inch makes a lot of difference. Look at you, you're so cute. <laughs> Let's bring you guys down from there. Hold on. Hold on to your seatbelts. Hold on to your seatbelts, that makes no sense. <laughs> Holy crap, come on. Whee! <laughs> Maybe if you let the doll go. There she is. And there's Luna. Looking neutral, as always. Her face is just generally either couldn't care less or depressed. <laughs> Aw, so cute. Every once in a while I think about selling her. But then I'll do something with her and I'll be like, oh my goodness, you're adorable. <laughs> Maybe someday. Not right now, though. Right? No. Not right now. Not right now. Now you're mine. You're mine. Yes, Rabbit, you too. <laughs> She's over there getting jealous. Well, anyways, that's all for now. Keep living the Frogling's life. Stay safe out there, listen to whatever the recommendations are around where you are, and I'll see you with the Mondays, with the Monday weekend video, the longer weekend video. Bye!